With so many advanced weather technologies available, how do we choose which one to use? And what are the significant differences in the way they display adverse weather? Displaying lightning strikes is a great way to augment your weather awareness because it gives you clues as to the current strength and hazards of a storm and helps anticipate which storms are intensifying. There are three tools that we will discuss which display lightning that can augment your situational awareness and inform your decision making. StormScope was one of the earliest systems developed to detect lightning and a strength of this system is its ability to provide the location of lightning in real time. StormScope offers two modes, Strike Mode and Cell Mode. Strike Mode detects individual strikes and shows the approximate location of the strike. This mode is best used early in a storm's development, when fewer strikes are occurring. Cell Mode also senses individual strikes, but then uses a special algorithm to group or cluster the indications to depict cells. Cell mode is best used during heavy storm activity to identify where storm cells are located. When a strike is first detected, you'll see a lightning bolt symbol appear. After 6 seconds, and for up to 60 seconds, the lightning bolt symbol decreases in size. After 1 minute, and for up to 2 minutes, the symbol changes to a plus sign. And then, for the period between 2 minutes and 3 minutes, the plus symbol decreases in size. After three minutes, the symbol associated with individual strikes will disappear. This aging methodology helps you to determine where lightning has occurred and where it is occurring. Remember, an advantage of both StormScope and SXM Lightning is that they can indicate building or weakening storms and are not susceptible to attenuation, unlike airborne weather radar. StormScope data can typically be displayed on a dedicated page and may be overlaid on the navigation map pages as well. This system gives pilots the ability to make tactical decisions to avoid areas where heavy to extreme precipitation and turbulence is likely present. Sirius XM is also capable of providing the location of lightning anywhere in the contiguous US and can provide lightning indications on various maps, including navigation maps and on dedicated weather data link pages. Sirius XM has both cloud-to-cloud -cloud and cloud-to-ground lightning that updates every two and a half minutes. In the initiation phase of a developing thunderstorm, it's common for a cell to consist of mainly cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. With this information, you can make decisions sooner to minimize your exposure to areas with dangerous convection. Since this information must be collected, compiled, and transmitted to satellites, there is always a time delay. This must be taken into consideration when using data link lightning information. Data link lightning is a strategic weather avoidance tool, allowing for advanced planning to avoid storm cells. If you see lightning strikes, it's a good idea to turn on NEXRAD to determine the location and strength of the echoes. Another Garmin product that provides awareness of lightning is the GWX 8000 Storm Optics Airborne Weather Radar System. In addition to providing real-time radar returns, this system has a feature called Lightning Prediction. When the system determines that lightning is likely present, a box is shown on the radar display depicting the area where lightning is predicted. This system provides a great deal of information for tactical decision making to avoid storm cells. For more information on airborne weather radar, check out the Garmin Weather Radar 2.0 e-learning course.